Hello guys, Robot one here, coming at you with a new Yu-Gi-Oh! video, and in today's Yu-Gi-Oh! video, I thought I would start doing some dueling book replays. Um, seeing as Yu-Gi-Oh! is going into a period where it is going to be a bit stale, I thought, why not do some commentary on some of my dueling book replays, some of my dueling book matches? And I might do this uh, weekly, or I might do this as additional filler content throughout the week, um, but this is just something I thought I'd put into the mix so you guys can have a little more content and also get some dual videos from me as well. Um, outside, obviously, duels and deck profiles and stuff, just some actual matches. And also, this is somewhat competitive because we are in the rated scene um, on Dueling Book, seeing as uh, Dueling Book is actually quite decent and rated. Um, so, uh, I did lose the rock papers in this, so my opponent will be choosing what we are playing. And the match is my Adamanti deck versus my opponent's Elder Lich deck. Um, Adamanti being a very strong synchro deck, this format going through a very good, com com a very strong combo strategy, and Elder Lich being a deck that is very back row reliant and very heavy on its turn one. So, let's actually get into this video so you guys can see the actual match. So, we start off with a very bad opening hand going first. Um, if we weren't first with this hand, I would have probably just set free and pass. But we are going second. So our opponent goes ahead and activates the spell card, um, the Golden Eldorado. First Elderland, sorry. The, go the Golden Castle, basically. Um, I Ash Blossom that, and then he goes ahead and activates his Elixir of Black Awakening, um, a card that will allow him to summon an Elder Lich from the deck in defense position. Um, this is basically the card that will get, uh, get is the best spell card in the deck to be able to summon Elder Lich because it will summon it from the deck and in, and the and the hand. So you'll get to summon it from both areas. So it is my turn, and we actually did draw an Adamanta Pacer. Um, this, drawing this card made the hand even better than it could have been, seeing as this hand was pretty much garbage before doing it. So we go ahead and use the effect of the Adamanta Pacer, and we're going to go ahead and banish the top five cards of our deck. Um, so we go ahead and banish those, and we go ahead and get to summon the Water Rock from our Banish Zone. And then we go ahead and put the other cards to the bottom of the deck. Um, just because of that's what you have to do. You activate the top five, and on YGO Pro, Dueling Booker is a bit longer. So we go ahead and activate the effects, so we get an additional draw. We draw a Red Rock. The Red Rock isn't going to do anything for us, but we do get to Synchro Summon here. So we go ahead and Synchro Summon into our Adamantite... And a man anticipates a risen Raptite. The Raptite's effect will also activate, where it will banish the top uh, five cards to excavate them. And we'll go ahead and get to summon a, um, a rock monster from one of the five cards. We go ahead and summon out our Adamantipator Analyzer, because it is the one that we activate that we do not draw, have not used the effect of. So we go ahead and put those cards back into the deck, into the bottom of the deck. We then go ahead and use our Analyzer's effect to banish the top five cards of our deck. And then we go ahead and get to Special Summon the Red Rock, the opposite, one of the ones that we have not actually summoned. And then we go ahead and put the cards back to the bottom of the deck again, so we can go ahead and uh, you know, make sure we're keeping game state. Got to keep game state up. So now we're going to go ahead and Synchro Summon, and we go ahead and make Adamantite, Adamantipator Dragite. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and use this effect, I believe, to... Uh, banish the top five cards of our deck, uh, excavate them to return cards on our opponent's board back to the hand. So we go ahead and set, set cut, return the two set cards to the hand. Very good cards indeed. If we did, he should have probably negated the dragon. So now we go ahead and put the cards back to the top of the deck, uh, bottom of the deck, sorry. And then we're going to prop most likely enter our battle phase. No, actually, we probably won't because if I remember, something else happened. So we go to viewing areas and we go ahead and activate signs to go ahead and summon a rock monster from the graveyard. And we summon Seeker from the graveyard. So what are we going to do with this Seeker and the board that we currently have? We're going to go ahead and banish the top card to banish card to stack our deck to put another Adamantite on the top of our deck. Now we go ahead and Seeker summon our Raptite and our Seeker to go ahead and summon a Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon. And having a having a Dragite and a Crystal Wing, meaning we have a spell trap negate and a monster negate on the board. Um Go ahead and enter our battle phase, attack for some big damage, and then we end our turn with free back row and a Dragite and also a Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon. So he draws for turn, he pays 800 to go ahead and search his deck. I, I let this go through. Um, and he goes ahead and adds Elder Lich, the Golden Lord. Um, from here, he's going to use Lord's Effect in hand to discard itself and a Spell Trap from the hand to go ahead and target my set card. I choose to negate this with Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon's effect. And then he uses the one in Graveyard's effect where I believe I have a response. Um, I say he has cost because my opponent didn't realize you need to pay cost for this effect. So we go ahead and send that to the graveyard, and then we Solemn Strike the effect. He'll then go ahead and get the Cursed Eldlands effect. You go ahead and set something, send a spell or trap from the deck, a Golden Castle, Golden Land. 
and he goes ahead and sets a card and attempts to you and then goes ahead and uses the black awakening effect so he can go ahead and set a, a golden land spell or a golden land trap card i believe only because i don't believe it states uh, a trap no it's a spell or trap so if there's ever a golden land spell you'll be able to set it off this effect um which is pretty good um so he goes ahead and searches the, the golden land forever from his deck and then he sets two cards and passes um, he goes ahead and triggers the Golden Land uh, and the other one, which I which one was negated. That's why he's able to trigger the other one. So he goes ahead and sets the uh, Scarlet Sangur, uh, Sanguin uh, from his deck. And we draw and we draw the stacked Researcher, which we put on top of our deck at the end of our last turn. And then we're in the standby phase. So he chooses to go ahead and uses the Sanguin, um, the Scarlet Sanguin. Uh, and we choose to negate it with our Dragite. Uh, he goes ahead and activates White Destiny, and we go ahead and Solemn Judgment that as well. And then our opponent chose to surrender. So that was game one. We had game there very easily. It wasn't that hard of a matchup for us because we, we utilizing cards such as Crystal Wing and Dragite it made the deck even better. Now, we are going second again. So we see our opponent starts off with the Cursed Land Elderlands. I have no way to stop it, so he's just going to go through his plays. He goes ahead and goes into a Mayukashi combo, which I did not expect at the time during the match. It was very surprising to see this. So he goes into this, um, the winged Mayukashi, which will allow him to special summon his <clears throat> graceful Mayukashi from the deck. And then he goes ahead and goes through the synchro combos all the way up to the top, uh, sending all of those to the graveyard, making the skeleton Mayukashi. And then he's going to go ahead and link those into the Link Mayakashi, the Ice Mayaka, the Yuki Ona Mayakashi. He then goes in and summons Mayakashi, but uh, Graceful Mayakashi back due to her effect. Then he sets two cards and passes. My turn. Uh, he goes ahead and starts off his turn with the Scarlet Sanguine um, to special summon our lovely Elder Lich from the deck. Um, he will, we will then go ahead and attempt to special summon our Analyzer, which he does seem to allow. So we get to summon that out. Then we'll attempt to special summon Research Seeker from our hand. And special summon that to the board. So we have Seeker and Analyzer on the board at this point in time. So we go ahead and banish, uh, excavate five cards using the Researcher's effect. And we go ahead and summon out our Quirky Meru Guardian. Uh, the the Quirky Merus in the uh, my, in the Adamantide deck are very good because they end up being the gates in their own and can be very useful thanks to that. So we go ahead and banish another five from the deck. And we do hit the Blue Rock, allowing us to summon that in defense mode. So... And then we put the other four cards back to the bottom of the deck. As the Adamant, as the Emancipators go, you put cards on the bottom of the deck and you stack the deck. It's pretty good. You draw a card, we drew another Analyzer from the deck, and now we're going to go ahead and Synchro Summon into Raptite. And then we're going to use Raptite's effect to special to excavate the top five, and we Special Summon a Seeker from the deck. Then we go ahead and, I believe, we use the Seeker effect, but I could be wrong. So we go ahead and use Seeker. It gets negated due to the Golden Land Forever by tributing Daki. Um, then we go ahead and normal summon our rap our raptite crystal a uh, crystal raptite green one the green rocky um, and we go ahead and synchro summon into our dragites seeing as we are able to do that now we're going to go ahead and stack our deck with putting five rock monsters on top it doesn't really matter and then we go ahead and declare we're just going to reveal those five with dragites as well to return all the cards in his hand. So we go ahead and put all the cards on his board back into his hand, and we go ahead and put these five cards to the bottom of the deck, as we have to do two excavation effects. Um, now we go into the battle phase, but we actually made a mistake. We shouldn't have gone into the battle phase yet, because he actually had a Nibiru, which could have been very deadly if we did not get the Quokimeru Guardian. So we go ahead and negate that with the Quokimeru Guardian, and seeing as we cannot do very much else, uh, I believe we just go ahead and make a crystal, no, we choose not to make the crystal wing, we actually choose to keep the board that we have, and I and I can't remember exactly why, so we go ahead and go into the main phase two, we don't really have anything else, so, or actually, no, we do have something else that we're going to do, we're going to activate the adamant science to summon back Quokimeru Guardian, giving us that monster effect. Now, I did make a mistake here. I didn't realize that this could not stack any monster. This could not stack if you did not resurrect an Adamantipator. So I was unable to stop top deck in this game. Um, but we do quickly clear that up. I shuffle the deck and I end my turn. So now I reveal a rock monster for the Quirky Mirror Guardian as I have to. And now it is his turn. So he goes ahead and attempts to Golden Lord and we go ahead and negate that. Then we go ahead. Then he goes ahead and sets a card and it tends to use Lord Engrave, but we do banish it thanks to Reptite's effect because we do have a green rock in the graveyard. 
and we are then able to prevent that as well. So we go through all the plays here. He goes ahead and sends that to the graveyard. He uh, uses the spell effect. I choose to negate that spell effect. And now he is just thinking. He was seeing if he could summon a zombie from hand, which I don't know what it was. It seems to be a golden lord. Um, so he could not do that. And he ends and he loses there. Now, this was a very fun duel to play because it was very back and forth. It Well, it wasn't very back and forth. It was more like um, I went second against a deck that should have really killed me going second. Um, he did have the options to stop me from playing the game. He just chose not to. But it was a very fun match, in my opinion. And I really wanted to show it off. Seeing Just to show you the power of the Adamantipator, seeing as the Elder Lich is running around everywhere. And I thought it'd be cool to kind of show you what the power of uh, the Adamantipators can be. Also, showing you a bit of the uh, Elder Lich as well, because it's kind of fun to show that off. But guys, thanks so much for watching. If you want to see more of these uh, Dueling Book replays, please say in the comments below. I will come to more um, and give you more. I always I do do bits of testing here and there on Dueling Book. And I like to kind of go in ranked a bit, because that's where I can get the best testing now seeing as we are in quarantine and i can't really play in real life so guys if you want to go ahead and see more of these don't forget to press the like button tell me in the comments below maybe there's a deck you want me to play in ranked that i can play um but yeah that's the video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next one robot one signing out